guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. No long intro, this is the Huda Beauty new faux filter foundation review. Three, two, one, let's go into it. Oh, by the way, what do you say? What do you say? Oh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, let's go. Boom! Keeping in my dance. Keeping in my dance. Okay, so first things first, whether it's a matte foundation or a dewy foundation, I have to go in and moisturize my face or prime my face. This is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's a two-in-one primer and moisturizer. Whatever the finish of your foundation, you need to make sure that you prime and moisturize your face. It's not like it's a new product. It's been around for years. It's actually Bobbi Brown's Hero product. Then I'm going to take Bobbi Brown's new release. This is the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. This was launched in the summer of 2020 and I fell in love with it. It's super, super emollient. Okay, I've just done my eye makeup for Instagram. So if you like what you see, then go on to Instagram and this eye makeup will be up for you guys. Anyway, um, I don't have the old formula because I think I lost it during transit. I've moved studios so many times. I've moved cities so many times and I've lost it in transit. However, I remember the formula and because I have a dry skin type on the other side of my face. I'm gonna prime my skin furthermore, and it's only right to use the Wishful Skincare line. This is the Get Even Rose Hip Oil. So I want this side of the skin to feel like it's a oily combination skin kind of thing. You know where we're going with this? I'm gonna do one half of the face and test it, and let's just see where it goes with that. If any of you guys have used this, how are you guys getting on with this oil? I've got some color corrector on, which is the Bobbi Brown Deep Peach. Okay, so this is the packaging. My shade is Trey Leche. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, because in the beginning I used to pronounce it Tres Leches, and then someone told me it's Trey Leche, okay, so Trey Leche. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, well, I'm just going in with it like I would any other foundation, and let me just quickly no smell. It's not as strong and it's not as pungent as the first formula. So we're hey there on the fragrance. And as much as I like oud as an Asian, I know some people that are not familiar like with the Eastern culture found it a bit too strong. But because it's quite common in our culture, the fragrance was okay to handle, but it just felt a bit odd smelling it on a foundation, if that makes sense. I was going to apply it with like a brush or shall I do that actually? I can do that. No, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so on the side where we've got the oil, I'm actually going to go in with with a beauty blender and I've applied the same amount that I would apply any liquid foundation. So the claims are that it's waterproof, sweat proof, Dubai proof and that's a huge claim. If I was in a hot country I wouldn't wear such a thick foundation but I know everyone has different types of skin and some people do need that extra thick foundation. And then on this side I'm going to go in with a stippling brush. Stipple it in. Just from application, I personally would prefer the Beauty Blender application. I just hate looking at streaks, but let's keep on going and let's see what it feels like with the finish. I mean, the match is really nice. I, Trey Leche has not always been my color, you know? I think it was Armoretti before, but then I found like Armoretti was too yellow for me. I think I have some kind of a neutral undertone because foundations that have like a tinge of a neutral, peachy undertone looks better on me than a completely golden yellow undertone foundation. Now, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, on, I don't know, everywhere, then you guys know that I always use thin layers of foundation because I believe in looking after your skin more, so like less is more. But for you guys, we're gonna go in with a second layer and I think that's only fair to really test out this product because I wanna see if it's like transfer proof as the claims are. And I know there are so many reviews online, so please, before you even attempt to purchase a foundation just because you've watched my video, Go and check out other videos. Go and see who else is a trader shade. Go and see what other people think of the formula before you go out and purchase. Sometimes I have to pinch myself, guys. I still can't believe that I've sat with this woman. I've had breakfast with Huda Beauty, and if you guys haven't watched that video, you guys need to watch my vlog, which I will, a proper YouTuber now. I'm gonna leave a link up there, or up there, I don't know which way, and editor, you need to go and do this way. <laughs> Even though beauty blenders do soak up a lot of product, I feel like the finish is a lot more nicer, but maybe that's on skin that's, um, not so textured and if you have like textured skin maybe a brush or a um, denser brush works better for you guys. I personally love the finish. I'm gonna wait for it to set before I touch it to see if it's tacky because I remember in the last review oh my god do you remember watching my very first review of the Huda Beauty foundation? I thought I was like 
so bad. But would you believe it? That was the review that made it to Huda Beauty Snapchat. That was the review that made it to Mona Katan's Snapchat. That's the review that made it to Alia Katan's Snapchat. And I was so gassed that day. I was like, oh my God. And the other thing is that I was sat at home feeding the baby a bottle of milk and my Snapchat started popping and blowing up. And I was like, what's going on? And everyone was like, congratulations. Huda Beauty put you on a Snapchat. And I was like, the hell and after that life just changed i was put on her pr list and that was the first time i felt like oh shit you know i'm a blogger okay <laughs> yeah you know it's, it's really nice to be noticed and picked up so if you guys are aspiring bloggers vloggers youtubers makeup reviewers don't give up keep on reviewing keep on posting you never know who's watching you and remember it might not have been huda beauty who's watching she's a huge exclusive brand it could be anyone from her team that was watching and suggested to have that posted on her snapchat so never ever ever give up while the chit chat went on forever i think this is oh. shut up shut up it's not even tacky like the lot i keep saying like last time like the last formula the hell's going on the time is now eight o'clock i'm gonna keep on checking in with you guys every hour well i'm gonna try you know every youtuber says that i'm gonna keep on checking in with you guys every hour and then it's gonna be like oh my god guys i got so busy it's 10 p.m now oh my god but um i think four hours should be enough so eight nine ten eleven twelve Four hours should be plenty of enough time wear or a six hour wear test. What should we do? Because I don't mind coming back on at 2 a.m. in the morning. I'll work till 4 a.m. in the morning anyway. Hey guys, okay, so it's 9.15 p.m. so far, so we're one hour into the review. And I mean, so far it looks okay. Uh, the side that I have oil on, um, I guess doesn't look as matte as the side that I didn't put the oil on. So let me check in with you guys another hour later or something hey guys it's 11 30 p.m i'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see both sides of the face so this is the side that had the oil on it's not breaking apart personally for me and i'm i'm not kind of sweating either this side that i didn't use the oil on looks a lot more better in my opinion what do you guys think i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more you know? So, and this is two layers of foundation if you're looking to buy a full coverage foundation for long wear and you've used mac studio fix finish is that what it's called or studio finish i can't remember but in my opinion nothing compares to the mac studio finish but yeah this is what it's looking like three hours later okay it's 2 a.m in the morning now and this is what my foundation looks like so when did we put it on i put it on at 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 so six hours six hours wear test and it still looks okay i guess maybe it depends on what type of a skin type you put it on so i'm a dry skin type and it was okay but i moisturized well underneath if you are combi skin i really don't think that you're gonna like this if you're used to your very full coverage MAC Studio finish, Studio Fix, I can't remember. But overall, I genuinely loved how it sat on my face. I'm gonna give you a close-up so you guys can see. This is the last close-up you guys are gonna see in a very long time. You see that? This is the side with the moisturizer. And then this is the side with the oil. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Let's wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I have seen so many Huda Beauty new formula reviews floating around YouTube and I thought, you know what? Let me come along and add my two cents. So I hope my two cents was worth it. For shade referencing, I am a NC35, pushing it to an NC40 with bronzer. I shall see you all soon in another video, by the way. Thank you so much for all of the love on my recent videos. I love you guys. Please keep us afloat on YouTube and please keep on subscribing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the, how did the YouTuber say it again? That, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, be yourself. Keep it real. Assalamu alaikum. Always be honest, keeping it modest.